and that actually lifts the spirits of the whole community. Now, we got Reggie Corners and the legendary Terry Hunter. What is it that made Bang different than anything else? Um, I just think when me and Reggie came together and uh, we wanted to put the night together, we wanted the whole basis of the night was that we wanted to be different from everybody else. Um, for instance, we had Joe Casario, we had Louis Vega, Black Coffee, DJ Spinner, uh, the, just the list goes on. So no one really was doing it, I feel, the way we envisioned music that night to be. So that's why we reached out and tapped into a lot of the DJs that a lot of people here may have heard of or heard their records, but never heard them play. And we all have, you know, great mutual relationships from meeting and traveling all over the world together, etc. So that's what we tried to do. We just tried to make things something that was uh, never going to survive or like. Now, hey, Terry's also a member of the Chosen Team. And I want to actually pull you out of that. Terry, Terry Hunter, outside the Chosen Team, how do you feel like you wait with, with the DJs on the planet? I think Chicago really got the best DJs in the world, hands down. As far as Terry, as far as me, yeah. Uh, I mean, I can't rate myself. I, I won't even do it. I, I think I can't yeah, go humble. Yeah. I'm good, but you know, I need that to everybody. Yeah, else. Bang, they, they, they call it bang. They call it bang. <laughs> it ain't nothing like it. Yes, Look, sir. the man had him and Mike have two birds of house heads. That, that was a theme of the house community that we came from. Uh, I'm a house head. His was so soulful that it would, it would, it would almost make you want to wake up and go to sleep to it. I can wake up and actually go to sleep to a track that this man made. I shouldn't be that close to you. And, and I'm just far away from it. <laughs> Ain't no way I should be that close to that man. You know what I'm saying? I got girlfriends. I don't do that. You know what I'm saying? But hey, look. Let us know how we get in touch with you and where you at. I'm here every Sunday at Shrine Land Sundays uh, on the Facebook page, Terry Hunter, Twitter, at DJ Terry Hunter, uh, website, DJTerryHunter.com, and um, call Reggie Farms. Hey, this is the Russell Simmons of this. Can, can, I, get a, can, I, can I get a what? Get a, uh, thank you Facebook what? at uh, Bang the House Party. Yeah, what was that? Thank you what? Uh, bang the house party on Facebook. Facebook.com. I want that Russell Simmons then. Thank you, God. Oh, thank you, God bless you. Good night. <laughs> Whoa, we just ran, baby. DJ the master. Uh-huh. Hey, Bobby, baby. Hey, Bobby, baby. DJ International TV is house. He will tell you all about the great, awesome stuff he does in the great city of Chicago. Yeah, take it over, my brother. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, Mike. My name is Phil Cho. I'm with Pure Soul Entertainment, founder of Pure Soul. Just want to say thank you so much for having me on this show. First of all, what I do is I promote. I promote Chicago, the city of Chicago, where house music began. Chi Town, my city. What I do is I pretty much just promote. I get the people, I get the DJs, and I get the entertainment. What I do is I host everything, and I'm the man. Personal entertainment all day. We do it. We do it right with house records all day. Yeah. That's my boy, Philip. That's how we do house music, man, all the time. Beating up the blocks. Hey, what's going on? This is Merck. You are right now tuning in to DJ International. We're celebrating right now. A lot of things coming up. But first, you got a couple words coming from my man Chosen. You may already see him, may already know him. Stay tuned. So we're here with the owner and CEO of True Urban Clothing, Eric. All right. I'm going to show you some samples real quick of the bombest stuff that you've ever seen. I'm going to hand it over to my man real quick. Let him know. Hey, all right. Thank you very much. So True Urban Clothing is a sustainable clothing brand. We're based out of Chicago. We're a real collaborative brand. We make t-shirts out of environmentally sound, organic cotton, sustainable material, all American made, and we give back. We're trying to champion our social cause of hunger and homelessness, right? What we're trying to do is we're trying to tell the story behind the t-shirts. This is our brand new product, right. Premium Basic Tees. We're about to do the unveiling right now, the unveiling. Of Just the got them in yesterday. Oh. All right. And it's soft. I don't know if y'all can, I know y'all can't feel the texture right now. I know this is like sheer. Soft and shirt around. Oh, you feel me? Mm. So this is our brand new product. We just got them in yesterday. Yeah. Made out of organic cotton, sustainable beech wood, 
made in LA, American jobs being supported, cleaner environment. Every time we sell a shirt, we feed one hungry person in Chicago. Yep. And we're looking to expand that to the country. So cleaner environment, American jobs, better society. That's True Urban. Yeah, so one of the big ways that we've been spreading our messages is through collaboration, right? If you want to go far, you go together, but you want to go fast, you go alone. So we're collaborating with companies in the entertainment industry, the music industry, right? We're a Chicago brand, just like house music, you know, born and raised in Chicago, and we're trying to promote it too. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Here, take that back, man. All right, my man. Dr. Eric, we're doing it big here. I'm C H O S E N. That's Chaz, and we're with DJ International Music Emotion. Shout out to you. True urban clothing, keeping it good, cleaner environment, American jobs, better society. Like house music, True Urban Clothing is founded in Chicago, making good things happen in the world. Peace. Hi, right, this is Michael James with Music Promotion. This is Real Freaky, and you're watching DJ International TV, EDM, and more. Hi, this is Bridget Cashman, and I'm on the World EDM Network with DJ International TV. DJ International TV, and yes, like Bridget Cashman said, we are in the house. DJ Baby Services on the Yeah, Reggie Corner, the way we work, bang, you know, chosen few, all of that uh, in a nutshell. But uh, I got my guy right here that uh, I learned a lot from throughout the years. You know, I was a little bad little boy, but uh, pulled me up under his wing and taught me the game. Uh, I want to introduce you, Robert Williams. Thank you. So, you know, tell us... Uh, how did that learn the game? Where did the game come from? Um, the game came from in terms of you paying attention to what was going on during the times of your youthful pottering and I guess being around some good mentors. Okay, okay. Um, Tell the people where you from. I'm from New York, Harlem. And I came to Chicago in the 70s. Uh, Robert Williams, myself, is the person that came here and found that the city of Chicago was in a slump, as I considered it, <laughs> because nothing was going on. And when I went back home to New York, I found, I told my parents, like Larry LeVan, T. Scott, and a few others, that it was boring here. It needed to happen. So I came back out and uh, started doing parties here and then finally started clubbing. Yeah. I was 74, 73, 74. Who was in the club? Well, I beg your pardon? Which club was that? My idea of a party, it comes from this guy right here. He created just not the sound, he created a whole ambiance of a party. So I take from the root and bring it to the future. Back then, people put their heart into what they were doing more than now. It's more commercialized in terms of, I think, the feeling even, you know, except for like, uh, I'm, I was upstairs a moment ago and I felt like I had went back in time a little bit. Mm. <laughs> you know, it was a very nice DJ feeling. International TV. Rod Trent represents Chicago, New York, and the world. But I like what goes on here at the Shrine. They're doing a wonderful job. I hope they keep, keep it up. Grounded, so I take from the root and bring it to the future. You know, I keep grounded in the root. Without that, you know, it's not a party. You know, you got to have lights, camera, and action. You know, most of the clubs, they build a club. We start off with sound. Then you come with lights, you know, and you create an atmosphere. You just don't open up the door and say, oh, we had a party. No, it's a style. This underground style of party, it's a certain way you have to do it in order for it to work. Now, what impressed me about what Reggie did was the fact that Reggie... What's the difference between my parties and other parties is uh, paying attention to details. You know, what uh, makes me happy is when I see people happy. Right. You know, when they're enjoying themselves, you know, that makes me happy. But... Yeah, I find the party. Oh, of course. If I see you having fun, I'm fun. I'm having fun. Exactly. You know, every now and then I go out there and dance. 
but you know. Who's the last time you danced in the party? Oh, I'm, uh, I dance all the time. You know, I, you know, I got to work the lights and, you know what I mean, and do other things and run back and forth to the door and take care of everything. But at the same time, you know, I run off out here a record I like. I, you know, go out there and do, you know, kick a leg up. And then uh, you know, if you see me at a party, you know, people think I'm not enjoying myself. I enjoy myself when you enjoy yourself. My job is not done until you are happy. I was outside Reynolds one day, and Reggie Corner said something in passing. He was like, he, he came top me in, in the argument and said, uh, what year was you house? And I, I was like, well, I was house from, he was like, no, you what? From whatever year I said it was, you were preppy, you were new wave. Well, actually, I'm not a house head. Mm. See, uh, tell us. I came out of disco into preppy into new wave right. and then came house well it's just like hip-hop hip-hop is the culture you know it's just not the music it's the dress and everything we was kids that came up out of disco and we was preppy it was clothes that we wore it was a style you know and new wave came in and i was mixed in right along with you know being preppy but the whole style of the parties was preppy kids mm. it's how they dressed it's how they act it was all about being cool, you know. So then you go off into house. House came about when they started creating music and they weren't using a whole band. You know, you was in the studio. You didn't have to have a whole band. You got, you know, New York was doing beats, you know, for hip hop. We was doing beats for house. So that's when the birth, you know, and then we came out, then that style. So you, you know, the argument is, house was created in chicago but one of the stories is is that house came from the warehouse but at that same time now listen carefully because this is an argument and it might start well actually but i the only thing i brought here was the after hours scene uh reggie corner and his comrades are responsible for house music in itself these these guys are responsible for the turnover in the music. I just brought the after hours scene here, okay? So they changed the music themselves, not me per se. Okay. Okay. Now, here you go, a kid that never went to the warehouse, but you was calling it house. Where did you get that story from House, but you never heard of the warehouse? Exactly. So at the same time, House was all over Chicago, but we put our hands on it. We definitely could say the warehouse because it was like, man, they playing that house music. But you had other kids that never heard of the warehouse and was calling it House. Where did that come from? All we can say is House was born in Chicago. We definitely can say that, but we can't pinpoint it on exactly where it came from. Oh, well, we got other, uh, it's that. I can't really see. Is that Mike Dunn? Huh? Oh, well, no, you got to come on right on in, slide right on in here. This is your girl, Angie Stone, and I'm at the Shrine, two-year anniversary for Terry Hunter and Reginald Corner. And everybody from the way we work productions, Gucci Productions, this is bang at bang. But we got you out here at the party, so it must be something that you feel right now, because support my brothers, man. I mean, I'm going to support this, I'm going to support, you know, the action that I'm on, you know, the bits with, you know, just like, you know, cultural stuff, cultural stuff, you know what I'm saying, more international kind of stuff, because uh, that's all awesome. it's you know what I'm saying? I mean, diversity, that kind of thing. I can't be afraid of that. You know? Um, so, I mean, the amalgamation of those two things together and the fact that you're being moving forward, that's it. Otherwise, I mean, you know, how, how dope am I, how, you know, my brother over here is right. You understand what I'm saying? You're only getting as strong as you <laughs> It's going to get from the tease box, and, 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 you know, very shortly, but, uh, you know, a few things that I have, you know, coming then and, uh, you know, from albums and remixes and after.
DJ the Natural, this is Remix Red, sitting here with a house legend. And he taught us how to dig in the crates, baby. You don't know nothing about digging in the crates. The foreigners came here and tried digging the crates, and they got lost because they couldn't understand Chinese. That's it. You know, they studied. That's where you learn. And that's it. Hey, man, look, I'm honored to be in this whole place. Bang, bangs. Holla. Remix Red.